Hello and thanks for joining the Thursday edition of Journalist Hangout. My name is Ayodili Uzubakun. On the program, federal government replies on Basanjo, says ex-president too busy to see Buhari's achievements. And later on the program, EFCC detains former SGF Babacha Lawa. I'll be hanging out with Babajide Kolade Otitoju, Dari Odufo Okon, and Asukwa James. So if you're ready, let the hangout start now. Always a delight to have you on the show. Like him or hate it. Former President Olusegu Obasanjo's open letter is still causing more than a stare in Nigeria today. The former president has both been praised and knocked for expressing his views. But his views still remain a floating thought of many Nigerians. On Wednesday, the presidency replied his letter with a touch of surprise. He thanked the elder statesman for his for expressing his opinion on national issues and went on to present President Momodu Buhari's achievements. You would agree with me that the presidency got this right, just as we advised on this program on Tuesday. So let me just take you back to Tuesday when the pres former president, Olusha Gobasanjo, actually threw the letter bomb. And we were here for an hour advising the federal government on what the federal government should do. So let me take you back to Tuesday so that you see what we said. I know by now the president's um, media is will be putting us together. together. What yeah. can we do? How do we respond? How do we respond? Not to rock the boat. How do we <laughs> just simply to slide? massage his ego <laughs> so that it doesn't, you know, fuel another, you know, um, personal um, crisis between the Obasanjo and. The, the, the president. The, the president needs to call his team together. They need to sit down together. They need to begin to analyze each paragraph one after the other. Of this president. This, this letter, this <laughs> letter bomb. Because it's going to be very difficult for them to play. You know, when once a bomb lands anywhere, the magnitude of that bomb, <coughs> nobody knows. You because they can the take any damage. Because, damage. Kind of damage. because damage. nobody knows who is going to meet. Hmm. You know, hmm. and nobody knows who is going to get injured. Hmm. It might be them, the, the media aides, it might be anybody in the kitchen cabinet because hmm. Obasan don't mention some inner carcass inside hmm. this letter. So it might be anybody. All right. So they need to sit down and begin to think. Hmm. That's why Obasan is different. He's outspoken, he talks, and when he talks, people listen. Mm -hmm. That was why the moment he began to criticize uh, Jonathan, hmm. Jonathan will call. The mm. American mm. president, mm. they will not pick his call. Mm. <laughs> the moment he started criticizing Jonathan, Cameron. Jonathan will call Cameron. Mm. They will not mm. pick mm. his call. Mm. The only mm. person who was offering support to Jonathan at that time was Netanyahu of Israel. Because mm. Basanjo, with his mouth, effectively uh, destroyed bridges that Jonathan had built. He demarketed him effectively. So that is why in this case, the government of the day has to be very careful in managing Obasanjo. Going all out to abuse him will not achieve no, anything. Yes, I am not saying he should not contest, because I do not see the situation as irredeemable. But he should listen to the advice. Look at that speech, that letter by Obasanjo, and try to uh, change the way he runs the country. Mm -hmm. If he can do that, he will give greater hope to people. Mm -hmm. And his approval rating will we, we, we'll go oh, up. So Maybe spikes. after that, people will not be talking about uh, the need for, for Buhari to step down. No, that, but if he doesn't uh, listen and he continues to run things the way he's running things, you will see more people coming out to disown him. You will see people, more Galinabas of this world coming exactly. out. You will see more people publicly disowning him the way Obasanjo has hmm. done. Hmm. During my undergraduate days, um, the University of Lagos Mass Comm Department, um, Dr. Innocent Okoye, we always tell you that a journalist must have the ability to forecast what will happen. And over and over again, Babajide, the Grand Maestro, over and over again, when we set the agenda, when we look at the climate, 
will tell you and these things will come to pass. Babajide, Alaji Lai Mohammed Tombops. He did it, he did it, and he did it in a very, very class act, best of class. In a long time, I've not seen, because when Ruben Abate wanted to respond to this same situation, they made a mess of it. A they, complete mess. They came for Obasanjo and they went for the jugular, insulted him, abused him, <coughs> you know, showed, but the worst they did here was that, oh, maybe the former president was too busy to notice the achievement of the administration. That was, you know, that's, that's the only the, thing that looked like a... The mild insults, mild and it, insults. Looks, <laughs> it depends on, uh, and depend on the way you want to interpret it, Babajide. Yes. <laughs> uh, you see, the beauty of this program is that it gets watched in Asso Rock. You watch once it's 5 o'clock in Asso Rock, people sit down to watch this program. It's, it's, a, it's a personal thing of pride to me and to everyone here. We know that they listen to us. We know many things that we've advised this government to do that they have done. They may not have done everything that we want to see them yeah, do. Anyone who has been in government knows that it's sometimes difficult, you know, because you have to achieve unanimity so you know, and all that. So it's, it's not always uh, um, possible for them to do all of what we want. But we told the government what to do. We told the government how to respond to this letter. Don't insult him. In fact, if it was possible, they should not even have replied. But if they didn't reply, it some people like, interpreted yeah. it in a different light. Now they got Alaji Lai Mohammed to reply this. And, the best of the and best. It, 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 it replied like the grandmaster of the art. Hmm. Because Alaji Lai Mohammed redefined public relations in our country. Hmm. He is an editor's delight not just because of his impeccable English, but his ability to string words together in, 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 with, with a sequence that is uncommon. He builds his, his, his uh, story in a graduated manner hmm. that most mass communicators, that is one skill that is difficult to find amongst most mass communications, uh, mass, mass, mass communicators. Mm -hmm. But here is a man who is trained as a lawyer, but he knows how to build a story. When he sends a press release to you, he comes in form of a finished story. Just copy and paste. Mm -hmm. Some lazy editors yes, will merely change the intro uh, and the conclusion. <laughs> Their story is ready. Ready. You know? So, Elijah Lai Mohammed is a delight to editors. And on this occasion, they got him to do it. You don't need, you don't need uh, an additional to respond to this man. Because it could eventually resort to insults. Mm -hmm. I said it on this program that addition not even labeling people as whalers was an irresponsible thing to do. Drunk. That's no point. Because what inadvertently they've done is to kind of Division. create, I mean, yes, the whalers and people. the hillers. Now they call, they call them whalers. Why should it be him it's more enemies labeling? People who do not agree with the, the president, president as well as everybody agree with the president. We can't all agree exactly. with the president. Even some of us, what people don't know, some of the people who abuse us on Facebook and Twitter because we chose to tell the president the truth, because we chose to uh, analyze Obasanjo just the way he is. What they fail to realize, there are some people who are our enemies today on account of saying the truth about Buhari. So, this is not a matter that people should deliberately misunderstand. Obasanjo has had his day. He's written that letter. Whether we like it or not, whether the presidency likes it or not, he spoke the mind of most Nigerians. Mm. The minds of most Nigerians. He spoke in the way that the psychophants and the incompetent fellows around the president would never speak to him. And because he has the capacity to get people to listen to him. His message will go, will travel several miles that even some of us, that a message from some of us cannot travel. travel. Hmm. Not as hmm. fast as, I mean, faster than um, any message from some Much of us. Full. Yes, and Much it will full. make the right impact. Now, if you now set out to be abusing that kind of person, hmm. I've, say, I've said it before, but does not have electoral value. Hmm. Because even in his home state in 2003, he had to rig the election. Over and over again. And not only did he rig the election, 
the, the, the total votes cast at the end of the day was higher than the number of registered voters. I was at the Supreme Court. Whatever I say about him is the truth. So now if you fight this man, you abuse him, you call him names, he will now be traveling from one African oh, country exactly. to another, and demarketing the administration. <laughs> Making the point of this. All that the president <laughs> needs to do is, look, show how you want to solve this problem. This man has talked about the problems, you know, uh, uh, afflicting our nation. Show Nigerians how you want to solve this problem. Nigerians are not difficult to please. In 1999, when Obasanjo took over, I remember in Kano, we used to buy a liter of petrol for like 300 naira. Back then, Sorry. it was it was terrible. Sorry. Obasanjo came in and stopped fuel scarcity. I remember Abdul Karim Diabu, former president of the Chamber of Commerce in Kano, and one of the greatest Buhari supporters of all time, saying, even God will be happy with Obasanjo. Not that he liked him, but What's he acknowledged that he had solved a major works. problem at that time. Hmm. So if Buhari will come out today and frontally attack the problems confronting our nation, and people see signs that this president has gone out of his way to begin to solve those problems, honestly, some of the people saying that he should not get a second term will be the ones campaigning for him to get a second. That's the way we are. Mm. We are not difficult to please. Just do those good things for the Nigerian people and you, you, you've earned their trust. Dari, when you look at um, the reaction yesterday and the, it took them like 48 hours or so just to put her together and how would you react to the way it was outlined? And will you say Obasanjo was spot on? Oh, well, uh, let, 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 let me start with the reaction. Uh, the, the, the length of time uh, that it took to respond to me doesn't really matter. Because it's uh, like we have that saying which can be corrupted to say it's not how fast now, but how well. So they were running fast enough. It was not the usual thing we used to see, where within 30 minutes of a release of this sort, the presidency will roll out and some responses. In, in most times, you have a staccato of responses even. The SSA will issue his own. The SA will say something. The party public relation, I mean, publicity will not be left out. And then at the end of the day, <laughs> the, the, the more damage will be done than good. But I want to say that for the first time in a long time, I think uh, one will go way back to the IBB era. You are searching for this kind of uh, response. That's when government will take its time to come out and clarify issues, not to attack the perceived individual. opponents. You see, it is a beautiful thing, especially for our democracy. I don't see this as something good for APC or whatever, but for our democracy, that somebody alleged or accused or thumbed down the president and his performance. And the government, rather than the usual Nigerian way of saying, have you forgotten you also stole? Have you forgotten that you are not supposed to be talking? Is it not you that went to uh, OD and killed all of them? This, you see, I want to tell you, 90% of Nigerians would have been expecting that. But what did we uh, see happening? The minister, when, because the man in question is Alajilai Mohammed. Uh, most of us who have, I mean, have opportunity of relating with him are not surprised. Any day, any time, there is a man who knows how to handle the most difficult PR assignments. I will always say that in the annals of public, I mean, political public relations now mm. in Nigeria, political PR, here is a man that came and redefined it. He, he, During he, his days as a spokesperson of APC. APC. As APC. Fantastic. He made it clear that it is not every time we go out to abuse. It's not every time we have to be on the offensive. Mm -hmm. If somebody comes for you, you can disarm the person. What he did with Obasanjo is disarming the old grand old man. <laughs> and I'm sure, I want to bet, <laughs> that, that it will take a long time for Obasanjo to sit down again and construct his usual uh, uh, yellow card kind of uh, uh, letters to the president. Mm -hmm. He gave this same kind of yellow card against, to, against, to Jonathan. Jonathan. It usually 
uh, precedes the, the yes. final red card. Yeah, the year of the election. <laughs> election. That's you you see, calcul <laughs> see, the red card is already... No pre came in December. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this it's one is in January. You see, he will release the yellow card only when the red card is ready. <laughs> waiting to be dished out. But now, Lai Mohamed, acting on behalf of this government, I've been able to, uh, I mean, find a way of asking Baba to calm down, take a second look at what this maybe government you know, maybe is you doing. Been too maybe busy, you've sir. been, you see that mild recourse <laughs> to a hit back. Maybe you've been, and of course, <laughs> Basanja have been busy yeah. with a lot of things internationally and locally. Yes, and yes, so yes, it is a beautiful, it's, up and down. Yeah, <laughs> it's been beautiful. Saying that happened. However, looking at Obasan Joe's letter and asking whether he is spot on, he was spot on. Okay. Sincerely. That is, uh, let me pause it there. Okay. Asuko, I want you, uh, your, your intervention on this. Okay. Asuko, I want you, uh, your, your intervention on this. The letter, okay. the reply of the federal government. <laughs> we said it. You were, the, you were the one that actually, <laughs> in that edition. I, I, I just want to, I, I, I thank God that I was part of the, you know, the team um, that advised the presidency, you know, because we know the, ca the caliber of person that uh, Baba is, mm. you know. Baba doesn't spare anybody. And once he starts, he doesn't stop. And once you abuse him, you go abuse, oh, abuse you, him like that. And it will get worse. Yeah. It will get worse because you anywhere. It's <laughs> in, in his desire to demarket Jonathan. He went into a market. In a bank. In a bank. Exactly. So he will continue and continue until all the drama of sharing up. Exactly. All the drama. The man has nothing to lose. Different drama. You know, even when it's nothing to lose. This is someone that tore his own card. card. And even in the letter, the party that you left, you still included it in the letter. Oh, you still throwing. So even in this. Because he wants the party to die. No, he doesn't it. forgive. <laughs> it's not as if he's true. Obasan Joe has built a church in Abelkuta. Mm. But one of the characters, one of the virtues mm. that defines a Christian forgive. is the ability to forgive. Mm. Right. He, he has not forgiven Atiku since 2003. Mm. <laughs> Neither will he so forgive PDP. He, will not, he has yeah. not forgiven PDP. Ah, that's, that's why more recent. he still, he still <laughs> mentioned... <laughs> See, when people, say, when people say, oh, oh Jide, you deviated from the topic. Uh, the topic was the worry is running of the country. Yeah. Yet he moved to PDP <laughs> to talk Does about their Supreme Court, the Supreme Court judgment <laughs> exactly. and claim that they procured the, the, the judgment. Yeah. Meanwhile, if they, if they bring him today to say, oh, yeah, come and show proof, yeah, you, you will not be able to show proof. Exactly. <laughs> so hmm. so the, that letter, yeah, thank God we discussed it. And um, for the first time, just like you have said here, hmm. the presidency is, is coming out from the shell. This, we, I remember when this um, government wanted to come in. We saw smart people. We saw promos. We saw adverts. Oh, we have uh, people for that campaign. Loved, ah, no, you know, no, during no, the no, campaign. Uh, yeah, so Nigerians like, like, were uh, hoping. They knocked out the PDP. You know, <laughs> we are Nigerians. <laughs> we are hoping to see something like that replicated in government. You know, and so for the first time, we are seeing a Lai Mohammed, a, a, a large Lai Mohammed coming now because I know then, in the newsroom, every. I know we used to have like two, three no, press, press releases press release, yeah. Yeah. coming out on a daily basis. And, a daily basis. and if you remember, uh, different it will call, it will call again call after to, sending to, the press yes, release. Yes, we call, well, we call the press release. Tell the you know. so, have you seen the press so release? This is, this is what, this, this is a smart move by the presidency. Thank God they didn't give it to, to a Femi Adeshino, a Gabashi, no, or, or, uh, you know, they didn't. Or Loretta. The, you know, or, oh, no, 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 that one, no, 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 that one is even far, 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 you know. It's someone that understands, <laughs> so, that, someone that that understands the dynamics mm -hmm. in public relations, mm -hmm. you know, and, and it's very, very this is a smart to a calmer head. Yeah. <clears throat> and if you can see the words, mm -hmm. if you read the words, he, he gave it to Baba. Carefully chosen. And he said what he has he to insult him, mm. but I know by the time Baba will sit down and read, and read. this is not what yeah. I expected. Ah, no, I said, I said, Baba will say, Baba will say, they are Baba running away from fight. Baba will say, these people are running away from fight. Because I think in the world, if you read that letter carefully, that he's expecting anything. 
Exactly. As in what can happen that yes. Too, uh, yes. Mm. he was expecting that. He was all well out. It was all well out. out. Like you know, a life for Nigeria. Nigeria. It's like a game of football now. Mm -hmm. You plan your strategy. Mm -hmm. As you are planning your strategy, you are also <laughs> pl you, you, you are planning the backlash. how to react yeah. mm -hmm. in case the enemy comes with it's the same force. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So he would have sat back to say, uh -uh. okay, we will look, give it to these them. people, you know, they are very arrogant. <laughs> You know, they are going to hit really me, hit and me. this is, you know, this this is, is the next one I'll draw. Yeah. So they were expecting <laughs> these arrogant people, they will start uh, uh, hitting me. But they learned from that. Because uh, remember after that letter, uh, in terms of how um, this guy responded, how Laima responded, is that there are some similarity with Dr. Ruben about his response because they also concentrated on the achievements. Yes. That would, they showed clearly what they were that Jonathan doing. ran the economy better. Yeah. That foreign direct investment under Jonathan was, was far, far higher than higher. under uh, Obasanjo. And it's they true. were quoting international metrics. Yes. yes. But yes, Obasanjo didn't stop at that. When, when he now saw that ah, this man will not leave me alone, Jonathan made that speech that some elder statesmen yeah, behaved like that. That was Gary Touch. So that tout that he had. And that was it. All efforts that they made to reconcile him with Jonathan. The mm -hmm. first thing Field. we will say is you. Want to reconcile with a tout. I made you president. I made you. And you called me a tout. So he was not going to listen. All effort, people like uh, Sule Lamido, mm -hmm. uh, governor of, uh, of uh, Akwai Bomden, they went to Akobi. his house to Akobi. beg him. No. Prostrate. The man refused to be begged. On that score, he refused to play the Christian. Mm. Mm. Yes, <laughs> he refused to play the Christian. He refused to play the a church owner. Mm. At that point, <laughs> one angle to this, Jile. Now, there's a myth around Olusha Gumba Sanjo mm. that this is like setting an agenda for what might happen mm. next year. That once he goes for the jugular like this, and if this letter is coming 13 months to the next presidential election, mm. that the administration should be packing. Mm -hmm. yes. Will Muhammad Buhari survive this onslaught? I, I still think that um, you see some of the administrations that he succeeded in chasing away in this, in this manner were, were actually largely military regimes and the rest. Remember his interview with Tell Magazine where he said this government is a fraud. Ultimately, the uh, IBB stepped aside and had to go. Hmm. But you see, he gauges the mood. Hmm. He, gauges, he doesn't just attack because he does not have the power to decide, just decide for the whole of the country. Hmm. You know? If it were possible for a or whatever he wants for people to always do, he wouldn't have resorted to. Uh, taking actions in contravention of our laws when he was president, because when it, in terms of impunity, he was really up there. So now the point I'm making is, if the president will survive, that decision, it, that, it, that would depend largely on how he continues to run this country from now on. It's not a passenger that will determine whether Buhari will remain. No, he mm. doesn't have that power. Not his letter either. See, Buha Nigeria elites don't like Buhari, but the poor people who do the voting. Yeah. Who do the voting? Who That's do the voting? Factor. Who do the voting? The poor people who do the voting, they are the ones. There is Obasanjo can stand. Oh, the highest mountain in Nigeria is in Taraba State, mm. Gangarwa. He can stand on top of Gangarwa and be preaching against Buhari. I swear to God. Those uh, you should have you should have uh, twelve million people mm. in northern Nigeria. Dole. I swear to God, they will not listen. So, they, and if they don't listen, they will still deliver that the whole food. Let me take my. <laughs> but he, the president has to convince the rest of Nigeria yeah. mm. that is good enough for that position. If he can't convince them, mm. then too bad. Let me take my first caller. Uh, Mohammed is calling from Kaduna. Thank Hello. you for joining us, Mohammed. Yes, good evening, journalist and girls. Good evening, evening. Mohammed. Yes, my name is Mohammed, calling from Kaduna. All right, go ahead with your contribution. Yes. Take my contribution. You see, we all voted for Buhari, and uh, there is nothing wrong when we decide him to talk to you. 
see, the letter of Batanjo holds is fact. And mm. most Nigerians that have Buhari in mind know that the government has not been run properly. Yes. But unfortunately, people are not taking the letter the way it should be taken. When you love people, you criticize them constructively. And when you criticize constructively, you want them to do better. But, but however, the response that uh, Lion Muhammad gave was a wonderful response. We are expecting that it to be a word for word the way it used to be in the past. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we, are, we really appreciate the response that Lion Muhammad gave on that, uh, on that letter. So I think uh, the, the, the media team of the uh, of the author of Shulen from the response of Lion Mohammed gave on the issue. Because Lion Mohammed explained the achievement of the present government. And also, the, Lion Mohammed tried to appreciate all the recommendations that Opa Sanjo made on the letter. And at the end of the letter, he even thanks the uh, Opa Sanjo on uh, what he said concerning the achievement of, uh, of, of the present uh, government. So I think criticizing uh, Buhari is not uh, an all thing for Opa Sanjo. He's bringing it for the government to sit up. If actually Buhari is going to contest 2019, they should try and reduce the cabinet. There are some people in that cabinet that are not adding any value to the cabinet. Yes. So yes. Buhari needs to wake up to the responsibility of the governor. Mm -hmm. And you should know that the reality of what they are doing is not in touch with the present situation we have on ground. Mm -hmm. So I think a word is enough for what well, the wise. Mm -hmm. Thank you very mm -hmm. much. Thanks. Thank, thank you for thank you so your uh, brilliant submission, mm -hmm. Mohammed from um, Kaduna. And um, so, Looking at it now, but some people in government that they are not speaking for the for this government officially, but some appointees, people like Professor Itesage, has gone all out contrary to the villa's position pattern, and he has been hitting Olusha Gombasanjo. And there's one caption I read that the two years of um, Mamadou Buhari is better than the eight years that he has achieved more. In two years, this administration has surpassed all the achievements that um, Olusha Gwambasanjo can boast of in eight years. Yeah, well. you, you cannot rule out the coming of statements and people like that. Uh, Professor Isesage is a respected uh, professional in the country. And uh, um, since he. But lately, some people. He in, the, in his current uh, capacity. Essentially, personally, I think he has not done justice to how he got into that office. One, has, one would have hoped that it would be some form of... Sometimes you feel it talks I mean, too much for that responsibility. Uh, he, 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 one would expect that he would help to douse uh, some tension. Anti-corruption. But he's, he was he's, he's that, the uh, chairman of an anti-corruption uh, advisory mm, committee. committee. <laughs> if he had restricted himself to solely that since he got there, maybe he would have performed better. But maybe like uh, <coughs> some other officers in this current government, he has his hands too full. Maybe he's also handing too many ministries. <laughs> and he's showing that... Uh, Added he's, media. He's, uh, <laughs> so yeah. what am I trying to say here is that his statement for me is contradictory to yeah. the stance the presidency has taken through Lai Mohammed. Mm. Why don't we just ignore the messenger and look at the message? In that message, if well managed, like Babajide said, it could be the turning point for this government. Oh, here is somebody. Yes, we're coming to one. Like we're coming to the, one. They're the like the heartbeat of the Nigerian populace. Who no, the heartbeat, the heartbeat does not beat on its own. The entire body temperature, the, the state of your brain, determines how the heart will beat. So, Obasanjo, like I did the book of old, will watch where things are going in the polity, then he will decide that, oh, clever let me, in a clever way, <laughs> then let me pitch my tent here, and he will be, <laughs> he, he want to emerge as the mouthpiece of the wounded mm. uh, Nigerians. However, this time around, he came out as usual, but he has been handled in the unusual manner. Yes. The usual... And the unexpected you know, the unexpected manner. The usual... Is what he expected. Mm. And I'm dead sure if the issue had come, by now Obasanjo will have released another one. one, one, one but one, now one. you've not heard from him because he will have to, if he's going to say anything at all, he will, he's rewriting. He's me respect. Yeah, so let me, yeah, let yeah, me, yeah, let me, 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 let
what I expect from the government is to continue in the stance it came out with. By one, continue to manage Obasanjo for what he is, especially in the next 30 months. Okay. We will have to manage him. Mm. Two, we should not ignore what he has said. We can go through the letter like, paragraph by paragraph. Either show Nigerians what you are already doing to address what he raised, or show us what you intend to do and immediately start putting such things into action. Knowing that because time the time is not, is not on your friend. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not your friend. No. Finally, on that note, the presidency and the ruling party will have to caution a lot of people within their ranks mm -hmm. to either keep off this matter or know what they will say. If you look at how Nigerians have responded to this letter, it's also in the unusual manner. A lot of uh, divided opinion. Yes. And it makes largely, people are looking at like Mohammed's response and saying, oh, this is a reasonable. Nobody is talking about what Obas and Jory is the game. They are talking about what Lai Mohammed said. Even those who are criticizing the presidency now are criticizing based on what Lai Mohammed said. That is it true they have done this one? Mm -hmm. So that's a they are way. To, at, they, are they are now looking, looking at the scorecard. The, 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 the Obas and Jory gave his own scorecard for that administration. What Lai Mohammed is to say, no. Why you are actually we, not we are lying? Not, we are not you are not saying it to where. You are not saying it to where. This. this is actually mm -hmm. it. And you see that what he has said is not too far away from what Obasanjo is saying. Only that he has shed more light on where Baba's glasses could not see. And, and, and I mean, that would go a I long way to help. That brings me to the communication of the achievements. But I wasn't around when that um, um, bad taste documentary, I mean, the bad timing, the, uh, timing the bad the time of the yes, documentary yes, 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 was played. Yes, yes, yes. the I, the I actually, uh -huh. something. so I actually saw it on YouTube and I was like, ah, why my people were calling me that look, oh, there's four scarcity. They had very, you know, but Christmas. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And they were saying, ah, Christmas in Nigeria wasn't too good and everything. Mm. And I just saw yeah, that documentary and I was like, and at the end of the tour, sorry, I couldn't pick anything from the documentary. Mm, exactly. I couldn't pick anything. But then, your, your mood. Communicating <laughs> these people, I'll be communicating these elements one by one. The federal government have not it at all. Because when I saw some of those things, to be fair to them, I looked at it and said, so this has been happening. Mm -hmm. This has been happening. But their managers. Mm, they are busy. Ex exactly. Busy. Ayo, let me tell you, let me surprise you. In this government, this government has succeeded in in producing millionaires. I'm, when I mean millionaires, I mean legitimate millionaires, which many people don't know. Mm -hmm. If you go on social media, you see young boys who are saying that they still want this government to go on. Mm -hmm. Why? Because they are making money legislat legislatively through this government. Young men going to the, the farm. They are going to the farm. I mean, Buying land. Uh, young men. You understand? Uh, and oh, KB is far. Ah, so so here in, here in Ogusete. 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 I was there yeah. last so week. So many people, see, we are so not many seeing people a lot are of making things. money but silently. Yeah. We are so not seeing a lot of making things. Money, but silently. Yeah. You know, and this is an achievement which they can project and they are doing it, but so many they need They've to not let done people enough. Now they, they, they even, you know, program, three hundred thousand farmers. I tell you, even here in Lagos, there is a scheme going on in Ekpe. I don't even know the name. You know, by Lagos. But when once you go to that, Ekpe, guys are used to know on the streets. That Ekpe is another uh, another place. Guys are used to know. Know. Uh, the uh, government. Okay. 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 Everybody okay. knows okay. about it. Okay. Okay. I don't. That's why I said I don't know the name. People are going to as far as Ogun State to Kebi. They are getting farms, making money from from agriculture. Because the CBN is giving yes, us so that fund by the CBN. You know, if you, if if you, you want to fund infrastructure, just the same thing. Mm. You know, the the, uh, the uh, suku the bond that they collected. Suku. You know, so they are going. Uh, they did it. By the, the time they finish the railway, thing. all the right. railway you will see so, what will happen. You, you, know, so you are they, able to move so your proceeds to town. The former governor Fashola was even quoted as saying that right now there's no states. In Nigeria, in Nigeria, that they that don't have a road project going exactly, on. Exactly. Exactly. Six states. Are you talking about what's happening on instead of mm. just no. abusing people? Uh -huh. mm. You know, so those are those. those are I, think, I think they, they are on that track. track. Nigerians need track. to see this, and they are, you know that is where Good Luck Jonathan missed it. He may, no, no, no. They they actually he he did so many it. things, but they came late. Yes, and the people were not. And so people were not even interested because the change, the change, the broom. The effect of the broom since revolution 2013. came and yes. swept them away. So yes. people were not even seeing what they were doing. Even at the time, it, you know, so, it, it right? decreased so that the is price what of, 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 of Lai Mohammed. Lai Mohammed has to start 
showing all these things, let people begin to see it. Then so many people will even key into it. They are going to start a program now that we're showing. To showcase, so must this letter, you can see that it has triggered a lot of things. It's not just the letter, you see, because it's not just the letter. Don't forget, even we here, We've been talking, there's nothing that Obasanjo put in that letter that we have not, not said. Raised, yes. I if challenge anybody to mention yes. yeah. what he if said. You back that we have that not been talking about. Seven months, months. Yes. consistently. We've been saying yes. it. The headsman killings, uh, we uh, condemn the handling uh, of uh, it. More than four programs, yeah. So, and, if, and, and I know that they listen to us. The vice president has called in on our program. Oh, the president's okay. wife has called in. Okay, I think I have Sule Y. Sule from um, Kano State, a friend of the house. Ayo, well done. Hi, Sule. Today, I am not interested actually in, in, in discussing uh, the message. Okay. What Obasanjo has said. I am more interested in the messenger, that is Obasanjo himself. Mm. Whether he has a moral right mm. to give such advice to the sitting president. Firstly, Obasanjo had the opportunity of heading this country twice three years as a military head of state and eight years as a civilian head of state. Mm. What has he done to address some of the issues he raised in his press release? Mm. Has he done anything to address such, uh, those issues? And again, is, is it a better way to advise a sitting president as an elder statesman, a former head of state? Is it the best way to, uh, to advise a sitting head of state he used to be at the villa. We, we, we see him with the president most of the time. And that's an opportunity for him to advise him on one-on-one. -on -one. But suddenly, we saw something on air. Is that a, a better way to advise a sitting president? And, 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 and more so, Obasanjo was on that seat. What has he done? Was he able to change some of the issues he raised in his, in his, in his press release? Yes, at least the way it was handled is, 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 is perfect. It's a good PR, not to start addressing issues or uh, blaming the sender. No, address the issues. That is what the presidency was able to do. Oh, oh okay, okay. Uh, uh, Babajide, Sule got me so carried away <laughs> that I almost forgot <laughs> the, the, uh, this part. Now, when you look at the flow of things now, and in trying to rebuild whatever is happening, you wanted to make a point before um, we pick that call. Now, now, communicating the president's achievements yes. and things that has been happening, where we know that some ministries, nothing is actually happening, and some of those ministers, I wonder what they are still doing in office. But then, some of them have really given good account of themselves. And the president can help this country by doing something about his cabinet. It's not everyone in that cabinet that deserves to be there. Exactly. Yeah. Those that don't yeah. deserve to be there, yeah, who are just psychophants and benefiting from long-term relationship with the president, who are, who are patently incompetent, he should send them packing. When he does that, it will send a clear signal to Nigerians. You can't, as a president, notify the Senate in December 2016 that you want to rejig your cabinet and we are in January 2018, 18, you've still not done it. <laughs> you can't, as a president, come back from sick leave and notify Nigerians that you want to expand your cabinet. And since you came back, you've refused to do it. And then you'll be telling us that, oh, that you take your time. Ha, Nigerians I, don't have that patience. They're in the state of emergency That's now. We don't have that patience. <laughs> we, they want to see improvement in the economy. So many jobs have been lost. Seven million people, jobs last people, year. People are dying. People are finding it difficult to feed. People can't buy fuel. They want to see how you want to solve those problems. They are not interested in how long it takes you to solve the problem. Mm. Because they expect the you. Process they voted it. you to power Muhammad oh. Buhari, they voted you to power to solve problems, mm. not to give excuses, not to tell us that you are going to be there, uh, you want to be patient. You also spoke patient about for bulk passing. Yes, no, because, you know, bulk passing is some, uh, something that this government ha is very skillful about. Mm -hmm. But uh, Jonathan 
belongs to the past. Mm -hmm. Three years after, exactly. three years after, after talk that about that. Exactly. change the narrative. Tell us what you want to do. When you now do no. what you promised us that you want to do, and Nigerians can see it, yeah, they will key into understand. it. They will know that the government that they've elected is doing just what they it promised to them that it will do. And they will be happy in their hearts. Nigerians are not difficult to please. When you build a few roads, they will be shouting your name all over exactly. the place. Exactly. So why not just do that? That will make people happy. So that <laughs> is the thing. Stop the, uh, stop the blame game. And you, it, must rain in, it must rain in those media uh, aides Hmm. who are blind to some of the achievements of the president, but they can abuse people on social abuse media. People. Hey. You know, it must rein them in because they are hmm. even inviting a lot of hatred on the government. And I've said, I've said it, I've said it, I've said it before, <laughs> that if the president <laughs> makes a few changes, Nigerians know those around the president who are not good enough, both in character and disposition. If he chases away a few of them, honestly, Nigerians will jubilate the next day. Hmm. So let him, let's even begin to see signs. Exactly. Ola, Ola is calling us from Abuja. Thank you for joining us, Ola. Uh, hello, good evening. Good, good evening. evening, Ola. Yes, I greet, I greet all of you in the studio. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, um, in the first instance, I think I'm going to disagree slightly with you guys on what you said about the tone of the letter. Is that loud? Yeah. Um, for my moment, so I've told them. Um, uh, the former president, Ulysses Obasanjo, that um, the man has been busy. He didn't seem to know much about the hardness in the country. I think that was not. A... I didn't. I didn't get that. Ola. Pressing... Hello. Ola. Hello? I didn't Hello? get that part. No, I said for 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 my mother to have told the head president that um, he, he, he must have been very very pissed. They didn't know much about um, the hardness in the country. Hmm. That was impolite. Okay. As far as I'm concerned. Okay. Hello? Yeah, go on, go on. Yeah, yes. okay. Uh, secondly, th there was nothing, there was something in the reply that is different from what um, Lima made and the lies I've always been saying. And I want to believe that, um, um, uh, to be sincere, uh, there was something strange in, in, in that reply. It, it is the usual life and life and life. No. Um, uh, no. We were talking about the TSA, talking about um, 200,000 um, jobs being created. This Thank you, Ola. Thank you, Ola. I think mm. Ola is trying to dispute the claim of, of the, the federal government, government exactly. what the federal government actually put out. And some people, when they see this thing, because they're seeing it for the first time, yeah, exactly. they'll call it a lie. Of but course. not necessarily. You have to have your way so that, of verifying. That is why we are now the federal government has the task the federal government to now push, push this thing out. Then then push, for you push to push now go message and see. out for mm. people. Yes, for people to put see. it out there. Put the place and everything. Yeah. All right. After the break, EFCC detains former SGF. Babache Lawa, I think that's one of the examples from uh, this letter. We'll be right back after this time out. Please stay with us. It's still journalists hang out. Welcome back. This is journalist, journalist Hangout on arguably one of the best programs on TV. Now, Babajide, before I move on, your final take on this particular, uh, um, what the federal government should do and what people around the presidency the, are expected to do. The president should breathe life into the administration, show to Nigerians that it's ready to work. We've told him to do something about his cabinet. This is the time to do it. Show, let, let Nigerians see the faith. Let, let them see justification for the and faith, get out faith that they have invested in your administration. There are cycle fans even among ministers. You can imagine a minister going into a fake meeting mm. with uh, uh, first caps, it's, it's cap. first caps, uh, 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 proclaiming uh, for president in 2019. Mm. When at the time like this, when people are hungry, at the table, time like this, when the neck time table mm, has not said where you can start campaigning. You know, so, so these are not the kind Bring of people that the first president to the ESCO, ESCO ESCO meeting. If it's not the SGF. You see, people will say, "Oh, this president is uh, not sincere. This president." has lost touch with what's happening in the country. So they are the ones inviting bad name and bad blood exactly. for the president. So such people, the president should just let them go. He will find better people than them. You want to become the governor of your state, but then <laughs> campaign for yourself. Uh, stop, not, stop, yeah, not, by, uh, by, not by embarrassing uh, the and president. And you play to, uh, to, to the, gallery. the gallery. All right, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission has detained former secretary to the government of the Federation. Babache's corruption allegation had cost him his job 
and it is one of the cases in which the president, President Buhari's anti-corruption war has been criticized and seen as one-sided. Why did it take so long before the EFCC stepped in? Hmm. Gentlemen, I, I, I don't know. Mike Ozekome, I remember, Jide, at the last Ghanifa me, uh, meeting, still say, um, lecture, still said it, that, look, Ibrahim Mustafa Mago, I will take it that you are fighting corruption the day you go after Baba Chelawa. Mm. And it took almost a year. It's, I think it's almost a year. Mm -hmm. Months. Yes. Almost a year mm -hmm. after his exit. <laughs> the, the, yesterday, when this happened, we... I saw it on Judy's wall. Yeah, yeah. As that breaking news, sharp, sharp. Yeah, as we speak, like, he's still with the FCC, you know, so, and he's still going to sleep there from what I heard, you know. So, an investigation is still being carried out from what I heard. So, it is not something that people will say, okay, because we have heard that it's in the social media, then from there they will just go and pick. EFCC, don't, don't, they don't act like that way. They have to carry out their, investigation, their own independent investigation. investigation. They make sure that they all the books. So that are, getting so together that what they can use to prosecute. To, to, him. Exactly. Even though sometimes they miss the step one way or the other in court. And that is where so many people are always angry. During the prosecution, where well, they've made you know, a little progress. A, the political will. Exactly. To so that political will, that is what Mago has brought mm. out now. He has done it. So we have so, long time friends you know, of the president. So, mm. uh, Babache is not just an ordinary person. SGF. Before, before the making of APC, so Babache was CPC part of the days. yes. Babache was part of the major committee hmm. of APC. That is what people don't know. So he was, it like, was a it, vice chairman, not east, not east of the APC. You know. So I, if I, I was trying to read this, uh, this um, Shago Adeni's book himself and Adamu Adamu are the people that even went to um, Tunumbo then to, to talk about this major thing. So it's not just a small fry. So, the EFCC has now shamed the likes of Michael Zokome and many others. We don't want to say it is because of the letter, no, but he, they have done it. And so, the, what we should be fighting for and what sh we should be asking now is for prosecution. We want to see the end of this case. Mm. Are we, how long are we going to uh, look for, wait for people to fall out of favor? For, you know, with Mr. President and look at the body language that, look, it's a sieve. If it's going to be politically, uh, politically correct when we take this action, it's time. He has been relieved of his um, appointment several months ago. So why did EFC delay tarry till this time to yeah. take Babache? Well, Mr. Sally, uh, I'll tell you that I, I wished, I mean, I wish this happened long ago. I wish it happened earlier than now. But it's better late than never. Better yeah, late like, than never. Uh, well, 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 do I want to agree that it's better than late than never? I would say yes, mm. because at least that it has been done. Yeah. However, it, if this had happened before now, we would. Yeah. However, it, if this had happened before now, we would not have given some critics mm. of Mr. President some tools to work with. Mm. I am still so I found very something else to say. To, to, to say. I'm still very, very optimistic that Buhari will still be able to do some things. I'm not uh, very much uh, anti Buhari. However, some things like this uh, have been fueling this discontent with the current I think um, Baba even mentioned this In his letter. Yes. Now, either this was informed by the letter or not, he's left to conjectures. Yes. Coming after that letter from a man like Obasanjo, you see, it took the shine away from what the administration will have gained from doing this. Honestly, if that's a, a day before, a day before, two days before, two hours before, do you, do you understand? Thirty minutes before, it will have been beautiful. Mm. Babache is one example of the untouchables in the last one year. Somebody said uh, the likes of we've been able to shame the likes of Ezra Kome. I say no. We've been able to prove the likes of Ezra Kome, Ezra Kome right that until we see that it is politically correct, some people will not be touched. Now there, are, there have been news that Babache Lawa is falling out with the presidency. There have been news that oh he may even be given another appointment. That now 
we waited until it appears as if he's no longer in the calculations of the ruling party nor of the presidency. Now, we've gone after him. Whatever mileage we, the, the, the current administration will have gained from mm. this, critics will say he's no longer part of you. That's why he went after him. Maybe you're afraid he was going to decamp to PDP. So we should <laughs> learn to, yes, but, but, but we're already but, reading things like that. What's your intervention on, on this? On this? Well, I'm happy that uh, the president, I mean, that the ASC has done what the president directed it to do because um, mm. after mm. the president sacked mm. uh, Babashir, he said that the, the anti corruption agencies have been directed to proceed with prosecution. Why did they? Mean? Hmm? Now, okay. uh, the thing is, the EFCC is the only agency that can explain that. Sometimes mm. you see you see massive stories about looting and all that, and you think there is sufficient evidence. Mm, exactly. It is when they take people to court <coughs> that you actually see that <coughs> there's really there's the quantum there. of evidence that you saw. It's not sustainable. The reality mm. is not there. So I don't want, I criticize the FCC a lot, so all of you know this, but I want to give them the benefit of the doubt. As long as They've carried out the president's mandate to uh, him prosecute his friend. I think that they've done well. What we want to see is more of this happening. Mm -hmm. So that the examples that people always give, mm -hmm. they will run out of examples to give. Mm -hmm. Yes. They will run out mm -hmm. of examples to give. Even during the program mm -hmm. yesterday, mm -hmm. one of the, our colleagues was mentioning Baba Sheet, Baba Sheet, Baba Sheet. Some I'm sure just that some if we do another that. program tomorrow, he, may, he will not be able to talk about that, Baba, that Baba Shea, again, that they've not least. picked him up. You know, so that's good. There are others who have also been mentioned as being dirty in the president's cabinet. The EFCC should go after those people, and the president should not stand in the way. When he continues to do that, all of those stories that, oh, he, he, he saves people who are close to him, mm -hmm will vanish. Mm. As I said, the president, just as uh, that is said, the president can actually benefit immensely from this letter by, by making, by taking actions that will constitute the game changer. Mm -hmm. He has the time to do that. He has the time. He's in his first term. During first term, governments do well. So this is his opportunity. Let him know the Nigerian, the Nigerian masses love you as a president. So give them what they want and don't be slow about it. We voted for our president to hit the ground running. We didn't vote for president to hit the ground and stay there. So let him, let him, let him hit the ground running. Asuko, your final analysis on this? Yeah, so the, my final analysis is that the president must step on, on toes. He must be courageous because that is one of the things that Nigerians most Nigerians actually voted him Thank you. to do. Because we, we, we know that he has integrity, we know that he fights corruption. So he shouldn't begin to, ah, this person is my friend, that person is my friend. No, he has started with this man, with Baba Chelawa. We want to see more. That is, where, that is when Nigerians will begin to know, okay, this is the man we voted. This is the man we know in the past and now is, the, is in the present. He must step on those toes. He shouldn't be afraid. You know, he shouldn't be, even if he's in his own cabinet. You know, he should, because we know that there are so many in his cabinet. So he must begin to go there, pick them up, let the EFCC go into his own bedroom and begin to carry these people and prosecute them. Wish, that is when we'll be able to know that, we, yes, that he has started. I wish, I, I wish it's, it's that easy. <laughs> no, 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 you see, I, I, we advise the president here, and that advice, he has taken. All right. So we want to believe that he's going to we'll take, take more. Okay, Dari. Yeah. My final take. The president has been advised. We shouldn't bother be bothered about who gave the advice. But what are the what's the content and what can we get take away from it? So Mr. President should take a good look at what the former president said. And first, rejig his cabinet. Secondly, this full and he had men menace. Who give his critics a job opportunities? A job to do with Show Sunny sure. did an investigation. He led an inve Senate investigation yeah. on this thing. Babache, the vice president, actually exactly. investigated. Yes. So uh, the, the old ESC should have enough material oh, they with have, the revelation they from. They have, have enough. Okay. They have enough. Um, they have enough. Based on what uh, 
based yeah, on what to is turned in. Mm. But it's not enough to have enough. They must bounce what they have against. What is yes. 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 So I think that's what exactly. they are. They should yeah. consult the vice president. If he was still, if he was still drawing money from the account of Roller Vision, even after being said, even after he became SD. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, you know? okay. okay. Then, signature to the account. That is, uh, that is gross abuse of office, and uh, he has to be punished. Okay. Have to leave it there. Asuka James, thank you for your brilliant contribution. Thank you, Dari. Thank you for being part of this yeah. wonderful show. And um, the master himself, Babajide Kolade Otitoju. And that's it on Journalist Angle. Join us tomorrow for another interesting episode of the program. You can watch the repeats tonight at 11. You can also watch Journalist Angle on all our platforms showing on the screen. And we are also on YouTube at youtube.com slash TVC News Nigeria. Our feedback channel is Journalist Angle at TVC News. Dot TV. I am Ayodele Ozuwaku. I'm out of here. Bye for now and God bless Nigeria. <laughs>